it's 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 uh, been a journey and uh, you know i came in of course with a lot of experience behind me but you also come in with a lot of assumptions uh, around the process around and i think when i'm walking away uh, completing this training is uh, you know how to combine that experience but transform it with the core coaching sort of skill sets and competencies uh, you know deep listening presence um you know and for the client and i think one of the biggest things that's um really helped is really understanding of just trusting the process and um you know focusing on the client and just holding a good space um and just being there for the client and trusting the process so i think i feel i feel very comfortable but at the same time it's always a journey of continuous improvement but i feel much you know very comfortable and and in quite an interesting space ending up from when we started so driven i would say very enriching uh generative um great tools and resources um very personable very uh flexible trainers um great learning from my peers um and if i would say you know it's never been a uh it's never been a supply issue if i were to use crude economic jargon here it's never been a supply issue you know <laughs> so kocharya the trainer the peers they always there and, and there are all sorts of tools resources available to you the key is how 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 committed and motivated are you to pulling those resources and tools so how 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 much time you've been prepared to put in and i'm glad i did i'm glad i did a lot of that and i got a whole lot of that as well back yeah that's a good uh, question i think um coming into uh, the ontological course and thinking about it you always a little fuzzy you know what is ontology it sounds very sophisticated it sounds very serious um you know and you hear about a lot of folks talking about transformation coaching and and all sorts of these various things so when the word ontology came i said well what's this about um but i think the more we got into it and if i were to put it very simply my biggest learning is we've been so conditioned to um you know almost actions and and a to do list and some things to do and i think if i were to sum up my learning of ontology has been it's in the domain of being and almost that what's that to be list um so i think the conversations have been very invigorating trying to understand you know the various concepts as well um because essentially in anything you're trying to do and you know, anything whether it's in your personal whether it's in your professional spaces anything you're trying to do the common denominator and all of that is you and and how are you showing up and and what's your way of being and i think that was a big um, both a revelation and a way um through all our ontological sort of conversations that surfaced and so you know if i was to sum it up it's really moving from that to do to the to be sure i think incredibly uh, important i think what dawned for me um what dawned for me was the fact that 80% of everything in a coaching conversation is is really emancipating from a way of being of the client the who of the client and you know trying to go deeper to understand what context are they operating out of what kind of limitations they may or may not be imposing on themselves um you know so really accessing those spaces and understanding the concepts around whether it's rackets without getting too technical here i think it's just understanding what's their way of being what context is at play and i having access to that really shifts a lot in terms of or rather 
coaching essentially is a process of discovery and awareness. You know, it's really helping them access those pieces uh, and self-discover those pieces. So I found that incredibly useful. I, in fact, use that quite regularly in a lot of my sessions. And it's always left, uh, you know, the client with a more expanded view because essentially coaching is about expansion. You know, you're just expanding uh, the view. Uh, so very useful. I really found all those concepts uh, very, very useful. I think driven it's uh, it's uh, anyone who's interested in becoming a coach and one of the key motivations for me when I was doing my little homework was and I get it's gotten even more reinforced now is it it helps you in every aspect of your life whether you're in in a career whether in your in your in, a, in your personal spaces um, because coaching is a lot about deep listening you know your presence um seeing things of how they are um and, and a lot of empathy uh, a lot of unconditional positive regard so a lot of those pieces i think i think are very very important not just in in service of a client but also that journey of you as a human being um so i think the the journey now is not just holding space for the clan, but also holding that good space in every aspect of your life as well, you know, and, and I think that's, uh, I personally find it's a no regrets piece because your listening skill set, your present skill set, your evoking awareness skill set, your, um, you know, just trust and safety skill set will help you in any aspect of your life. And for me, it's been one of uh, really a space where it's helped me really understand myself better. Because if you know, for, to hold space for anyone, you got to first hold space for yourself. And I think for me, the most important piece has been a journey and having a very good, deliberate relationship with myself. And I think for me, the most important piece has been a journey and having a very good, deliberate relationship with myself. Would you say that a certain amount of uh, this is uh, resulted out of being able to access a way to self-coach your own self? Um, yeah, I think it's a function of many things. Certainly, uh, self-coaching... Uh, is an important tool, uh, of course, in your various journeys and, and, and that one is going through as well. But certainly um, self-coaching, just being able to identify, having that conversation with yourself. So I have this daily ritual and I you know, spend a bit of time with myself every morning. Uh, and it's a good way to, uh, it's a nice way to even have that daily ritual, right? So how are you doing? How are you feeling? You know, uh, what are you learning about yourself? What are you learning about your goals? A simple, um, um, and you, you, you're getting to a space where you're almost empowering your own self uh, and, and moving to a more self-authored, you know, what we call a self-authored space. Uh, so that's been very useful, including self-coaching, definitely. No, sure. As I mentioned, I think the biggest um, shift and, and the biggest uh, change is really that relationship with yourself. Uh, and I think that, to be honest, is the, the pivot. I feel the pivot to a lot of what I would like to do in my life. And I think just having that, uh, an honest relationship, but a kind relationship, um, with myself and I certainly uh, have that more now and I think the other shift that's really happened for me is to really move from this a very know-it-all sort of a mindset to almost a, a learn-it-all sort of a mindset you know having that humility having that um, um, humbleness about you as well 
so I think that's been a big uh, shift. It's really from that space of know it all <laughs> that that the environment so conditions you to to almost learning it all. Well, we you know when I look back. Uh, Feel very blessed to have had uh, Drayvon, both Drayvon and Tracy together as my trainers. Um, you know, when before getting into the course, the first thing I said, let me let me check them out. Let me let me see what this organization is about and how both of them are. Um, and you know, not a lot of folks do it, but they were happy to get on a call, get, uh, get have a bit of an introductory chat. And I said, well, hmm, this seems like a good team here. This seems very personable. They aren't chasing me to come and join, but they're just willing to share their perspective and that helps me make a more informed choice. Um, so I would say uh, both of them work very well as a team. They complement each other very well. They also bring this entire cross-cultural dynamic. Um, as I touched on earlier, coaching is about expanding your um, view expanding and, and bringing, having trainers from two different parts of the world brings great diversity um, to our, to our, to the cohort, to the group of learners. So I felt uh, both of them uh, made a great team um, and were very personable. I think what really, what I take away is the fact that both of them were very genuinely interested in all of our development. Whenever there was time needed, that time was always promptly provided over and above the course and the timings and all the various bits and bobs. But I think that to me says a lot about uh, both the organization, but them as, as people. Um, and I'm you know really grateful um, for that support. And if I was to now go individually, I think Drevan uh, Wood piece that really stands out for me is your deep, deep technical knowledge and understanding of the coaching craft. Um, I think Drevan's experience um, as a leader in the armed forces in, of India brings so much, so much leadership, so much experience um, to his, I mean, his whole life journey has contributed so much in getting there. Um, and also a lot around human behavior. Uh, which really helped us. I think I can describe uh, Trayvon, authenticity, conviction, leadership will be some of the words that come to my mind. And moving on to Tracy, um, Tracy brought a lot of that cross-cultural dynamic, multi-continental experience in her own life journey, working across multiple sectors, working across multidisciplinary sectors as well. Um, and always providing a different point of view, uh, always being also very vulnerable and generous with the time and, 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 and almost giving a lot of impromptu demos of what she was experiencing to bring our learning forward. Um, so a deep sense of uh, gratitude to both uh, Drevan and Tracy, thank you. Yeah, I would say go for it, um, go for the course. I think the biggest thing, I'll almost flip that question. So if your questions are in your mind that the quality of the trainers, quality of the course content, big tick, I would almost flip that question back to you. Are you prepared to put in the time, effort? So from a supply side, there'll never be an issue as how I experienced it. Um, are you prepared to put in that time, effort to really, uh, you know, go further in your journey? And if you're prepared to do that, this course will fall nothing short of those expectations. <laughs>